Welcome to Pilates and Yoga with Vicky for a quick body sculpting Pilates workout. Really going to be focusing on our abs and our butt. So coming to lie on your mat, it can be good to have two mats because we'll be on our knees a bit, so a bit extra comfort if you want it. And just taking a moment to find neutral with the pelvis. So you've got a slight lower back curve and you're anchoring your lower ribs towards your hips to get this centered, centered feeling, drawing the ribcage down, bracing through the core. And then exhale, float one knee up, and then brace, exhale, float the other knee up. If you feel like you're lifting and arching too much, if anything, just anchor your back towards the mat to protect the spine. So staying here, and we're just going to do some toe taps. So the movement's coming from the hip, keep the knee angle the same. Off we go for one, two, slow, three, four. You can always put this knee down for rest. For six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same side, take it out to the side of it. Just make sure your knees stacked above your hip. And we're tapping out for one. On the diagonal, two. Three. Back to centre, four. Brace through here, five. Working those lower abs, six. First seven. Eight. Relax the upper body, nine. 10. Just check your knees are still stacked directly on your hips. Brace through here. Other side, tap into the floor. For one, two. Keep the knee angle still. Open from the hips. For four, slow and controlled. Five, six. Brace and breathe. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and then tapping out to the left hand side of the mat. Off we go for one, two, with control, three, four, five, six, seven. Up and down one at a time, or go for double toe taps 
abs with me. Again, angle coming from the hip. Off we go for one. Draw it back in, use the abs. Two. Squeeze it back in. Three. For four. Make sure the back's going towards the mat. Five. First six, knee there. First seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Draw it in this way now, working the abs a bit differently. Draw the knees in and get a bit of lift off onto your bottom. Hands palm up so you're not using the arms. Fire with the abs. For one. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze it up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Squeeze it. Side to side. Good work. Feet down. Basic ab curl. Fingertips by ears. Keep a gap under the chin. And the priority is getting the shoulders off. So we don't crunch our neck. We're trying to lift up through the shoulders. Off we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This time taking the right hand round, ready to reach the right heel, getting into the obliques. So inhale, prep, exhale, hover up. Inhale, stabilise and exhale, off we go for one, two, make sure the whole torso is moving, three, four, five, six, into that side move. seven, eight, nine, hold it on the ten, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, centre, release. Other side, left hand ready to reach. Inhale, pair, exhale, come up. Inhale, stabilise. Exhale, off we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on the tail. For ten, nine, eight, seven, squeeze your breathing, four, three, two, one, centre, rinse. Coming over onto your front, let's fire up our arms. You can do this on your knees or on your toes. So we're going to go with the left arm needing to start with, down, down, up, up, and then do five and then switch to our right arm needing. Off we go, for one. Two, three, four, strong core, five, right arm leading, for five, four, three, two, one, up, go up, and then back down, holding the plank, you can hold the plank on the knees if you want, or join in with me for leg lifts, left leg, Squeeze the buttocks to get the movement going. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. For ten, nine, eight. Don't let the head hang. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, coming down. Just soften the shoulders, open up through the spine and the back. Lengthen through the neck for a few breaths just to stretch out. And then walking the arms forward, just chucking the chin so your head's in a nice alignment and going for a bit of a swimming cell. So think of your belly like it's in a hot plate and draw those abs up to the spine. Inhale, pair. Exhale, lift right arm and left leg. Hold it there. And release. Inhale, pair. Exhale, opposite side, left arm, right leg. And release. 
and then single counts, so right arm, left leg, off we go, for one, slow you down, for two, three, four, brace the core, five, six, control, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little bit quicker, so you're kind of hovering in between, right arm, left leg, going, single counts, for one, two, three, four, five, six, tuck the chin, seven, eight, nine, ten, coming down, hands on the shoulders, come back to child's pose briefly, head down, and then back up onto all fours for some butt work. Spread the hands out. If it's too much for your wrist at any point, you can come down onto your forearms. We're going to take the left leg, keeping the knee bent, tuck it behind the other leg, and then pushing up through the heel. Keeping the abs strong, they have to work hard as well through this movement. So, you're going to go down, push it up. Off we go. For one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same again, but straighten the leg as you come out. Push out through the heel, long leg. Off we go for one, two, strong out, three, strong arms, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Staying out towards the shoulder, back out. Off we go. Inhale, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in, hovering back in line with the other leg. We're going to lift it up and down. You can come onto your forearms, remember. Off we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gaze just in front of you, your mat for a nice neck position. For nine, ten. And you're feeling it in both buttocks, I hope. Draw it in, kick it out for one, two, three, not any more moves, four, five, six, use the abs to push it out, seven, for eight, nine, ten, hold it out, little circles, last one, for one, two, three, four, keep the abs strong, arms strong, smile strong, for eight, Nine, ten, other side, for ten, nine, remember you can come down to a forearm if your wrist is finding it tough. Four, three, two, one, release. Sit back for a moment, couple of breaths, creep up those shoulders, feel the stretch through the armpits. Coming to the other side. So to recap, you can take the right knee across the other side and then back up, push up through the heel, bracing through the abs. Off we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This time, take you all the way along, push through the heel. For one, two, three, strong form. Four, five, six, seven, don't let the head hang. Eight, nine, ten, staying out, take it towards our shoulder and back out again. So drawing it in, exhale for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Taking it down and then up and down. So you're lifting out the side, knee bent and back in. For one, two, control, three, four, check your four, five. Six, seven, 
out. Nine, ten. Feel it now. Draw in, push it out for one, two, three, four. Nearly there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And little circles for one, two. Push the floor over the arms. Five, six, seven. Get into those glutes. Nine. Other way. If you've got strong glutes, it really helps to look after the knees and the back as well. So they're worth working on. Not just to get the keep on. For seven, eight, nine, ten. Back in. Take it back, creep the hands forward. Coming back up just into full plank. So we take our left knee towards our left wrist. Dropping the back leg down, lengthening up. If you're more flexible, walk the front heel away from your body. If you're less flexible, keep it close and you can bend the back knee as much as you wish as well. Into our pigeon pose. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, coming down. You can use your fists to make a pillow for your hands. Soften the shoulders. Five breaths. Really feeling it around this region here. Slowly coming up. Always slow, in and out of stretches. Take it back to the plank. Right knee to right wrist, adjust depending on how flexible you're feeling. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, sink down into the stretch. And just have the intention of turning this left hip towards the mat, but without your right buttock coming off. Find a happy balance that you feel you get into a good point for the stretch. Five points.
So we're going to stretch out our hip flexors. Changing the sides. Gives you a nice gentle neck stretch as well. And again, open up through the right chest, the pec muscle, by rolling that shoulder back towards the mid spine. Sink to that right hip. Feel the stretch through that right thigh. Five deep breaths. Slowly release. Slowly come back up. Sitting in a comfortable cross leg position. Sitting up tall through the spine. Then round yourself up through the spine, tucking your chin. And then turn the palms outwards and upwards, release with control, and then draw down your back. Two more times. Then taking yourself rounded, inhale as your palms go outwards and upwards, soften as you exhale with control, draw it down, getting into that back. One more time. Inhale, palms go outwards and upwards, soften the shoulders. Release with control. Exhale. Beautiful. Then taking the feet butterfly style. Sole the feet together. Knees fall to the side. Walk the heels away from your body. Lengthening up through a whole spine. Imagine you're going over a big ball as you exhale. Soften the shoulders. Creep the hands forward. Breathe into the back body. Five breaths. Let the head hang. Slowly coming back up. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Hope you have a great day and please check out my other workouts.